Recording. Hello, it's Pastor Don with Pine Community Church. I'm also a chaplain with Central Oregon Public Safety Chaplaincy. We provide chaplain services for uh, local law enforcement, fire departments, and dispatch centers, and even tow truck drivers uh, throughout um, the Deschutes County and, and uh, Jefferson and Crick County areas in Central Oregon. I'm actually heading to a, a chaplain meeting, which we haven't been able to do for two months, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I really want to share this message with uh, our first responders that are out there, um, my cop buddies, and uh, maybe even those that I don't know, those who are retired, of course, and our firefighters and other responders that are out there in light of the events in our country just in the last few days. And I know for many it seems like a dark period of time, and but I want to encourage you. Our country's been through things like this before, and um, hopefully uh, we're able to do as we have before and uh, learn from these experiences and just become better people all around. Hopefully maybe even a better nation. I don't know. That remains to be seen. But I want to encourage you with something uh, I read this morning in the book of Isaiah. That's a book in the Old Testament. This is a book of prophecy. And this is a message to uh, the people of Israel after the nation of Babylon, probably led by Nebuchadnezzar, uh, has destroyed, really destroyed the city of Jerusalem and carried this, the majority of the survivors off as captives, uh, leaving only the poorest of the poor people in the land. And so for them, uh, those were dark times. And yet they are given this encouraging message, which I want to share with you, from Isaiah chapter 52 and 53. Uh, this little ride, if, you re if you've been here before, you'll recognize it. It's a highway between uh, Tumalo, Oregon and Sisters, Oregon. And I want you to enjoy especially the mountains off to the left. Off to our left we see the Three Sisters and Three Finger Jack and Mount Jefferson and Mount Washington out there somewhere too. So Isaiah chapter 52, beginning in verse 7. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. Come out from it and be pure, you who carry the vessels of the Lord. But you will not leave in haste or go in flight, for the Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. And now Isaiah transitions from an encouragement for the Israelites, the survivors who were carried off to Babylon to the promise of the coming Messiah, Jesus Christ. Starting in Isaiah 52, verse 13. See, my servant will act wisely. He will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any man, and his form marred beyond human likeness. So will he sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see, and what they have not heard, they will understand. And now, Isaiah 53. Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows and familiar with suffering, like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised 
and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and who can speak of his descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living, for the transgression of my people he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors for he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors and now I want to finish with the priestly blessing from Numbers chapter 6 the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace and that's my prayer for all of our first responders this week Goodbye.